We got Pat here. Yo, what's up? <laughs> and today we are going to try to organize the trailer. So we're going to Lowe's for some uh, some stuff. We don't really have much of a game plan at all, but we're gonna see what products they have and we are going to uh, attempt to organize the trailer before Monday. What do you think, Pat? I think it's gonna work out great. Uh, our product list so far says bins, question uh, mark. So we're gonna try to get some bins today. Yeah, we got bins and uh, label maker. And we'll see what else they got. In the heat of the night, we could get lost in all the lies and sounds. These look pretty good. What do you think about these? These come on a little cart. A little dolly. Which is pretty nice. cool. I don't know if these are going to hold up to the mud. I feel like this would be good for some bits. It's called the Tough Box, and it uh, doesn't seem very tough, though. What do you think, Pat? What is going on with this thing? Release out of the class. Whoa! Yeah, again, I don't know what we would really put in here. Alright. This isn't going well. I thought there would be more bins, to be honest. Maybe we're not in the right section. I think this is the only bin section they got. Look, the handle already fell off of this one. It hasn't even made it out of the store yet. Maybe we need to go to a different store. So we're leaving Lowe's. Not a great selection on organization. What do you think, Pat? Could not find a label maker, even after going to the front desk. Yeah. And the Lowe's website. Yeah, they need to update that. What kind of store is this? We're headed to Home Depot, which is across the street. Hopefully they have a label maker. I feel like that's kind of, Pat, don't you think that that should be that's kind like of like the, a staple the of, key, uh, the key, that should uh, be like every store. They said only during Christmas time. Only Who's getting a label maker for Christmas? Yeah, it's a terrible gift. It's a horrible gift, yeah. I mean, I could have used it this year. Yeah. It's, you gotta stop it on top. I got this in here. This is kind of what I had in mind. That's perfect. Much better, much better selection here. Like this. We got this nifty little box here. We're gonna put all the drills in here, batteries, everything, drill bits, accessories in here. Don't want to put it in here now because they'll think I'm stealing it. This used TBD, but it seems nice, so we're gonna get that. And we got these stackable totes for uh, miscellaneous. We're really getting pretty heavy on the miscellaneous department, so I think we're covered there. Now we just need to find stuff that uh, actually has a purpose, and we'll be good. There's not just stars on the boulevard. They're in the light in your eyes. Oh, we don't need no black cards. So we got a game plan for that. Can we start over? I got my finger in the shot. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> All right. So we're at Home Depot, just leaving. We got a bunch of totes and some bins and some uh, little organizers. Don't really have a plan for any of it yet, but uh, except for the drills. We got, a, we got a big box for the drills and all the batteries, everything else, TBD. Home Depot does not have label makers either, which uh, I feel like they're missing a big market opportunity there. Same as Lowe's, they said they only carry them around Christmas time, which doesn't really make any sense to me, but uh, hey, I don't know. We're going to Walmart to uh, try to find a label maker. Pat's kind of worried about all the stuff left in the back of my truck. Thinks it's gonna get stolen, but uh, we're taking a risk. This one kind of looks cooler. I will, I will agree that that one looks cooler. You can change the font too. <laughs> that might be, you know, if something's really important, we can put it. We can put it in bold. Do we have to do labels in both languages? We should. Yeah. Is this all we're getting? Like you want to get that Sony controller? Okay. All right, we'll get that for you. All right. Here's the trailer. Most videos you see on YouTube about tool trailers are going to be about how super organized they are. This one's going to be more real life. 
But we got some bins. We are going to organize some stuff. The idea here is uh, we got this here. We use a ton of drills, so we are going to put all our drills in here and our batteries. This stuff's kind of just been sitting here all winter, so um, it's an absolute mess. We just threw everything in at the end of the year. So uh, this year, we're gonna get a little bit more organized. Pat's gonna, he's gonna hopefully help. I don't know. I hope he's got some good ideas. Josh is really our like number one organizer. Hey, why isn't Josh here? He could not make it today. He's moving, so uh, he's gonna come in on Monday when we actually start our first job. But we don't need him. We can we can handle this. I think it's gonna be a good exercise for us. Don't you think, Pat? I think yeah. I think it's really gonna be good. I think I think we're gonna grow a lot. Grill? We're gonna have some uh, barbecue days. No, we're not gonna grill. We're gonna grow. Grow. Oh, okay. Personally, I can understand you with your New Jersey. Rigid, maybe you can reimburse us for these. Those are pretty nice, and we could use a bunch more. We figured this out beforehand that these would fit perfectly side by side. We actually didn't. This was a stroke of good fortune. And it looks like it's gonna work out. So we got, okay. Um, check back in a little bit, cause this is, this is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be so cool. So we're getting really close. Everything's looking. Don't hit this guy. <laughs> As long as I don't hit this guy with my truck, we are we are looking pretty good. But we need a couple more bins. Everything's pretty organized. Even now, it's probably the most organized our trailer's ever been. But we're taking it to the next level. I'm gonna get some bins. I got a list for what kind of bins we need. So we're going back to Walmart. We're just heading out of Walmart. We got some nice bins here. Oops. A little Frank Ocean. We got some bins here. Pretty good deal. Ten of them for nine bucks. Can't beat that with a stick. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna use those. Label them with the new label maker. That's all for now, but I think we're in business. I think this is gonna be a smashing success. Should I go home now, Sean? No. All right. <laughs> we got it pretty much cleaned out. This is like as organized as it gets in here. We even added some some new bins. Rigid, hook me up with like some sort of sponsorship. Come on, I want some free, uh, I like these bins, I want some more. Here we got circular saws. Can't miss it, three times, unless you're looking at the opposite side. We didn't put any, any uh, labels on the other side. We should have maybe thought about that. Next time, Pat. Here we got Sawzall, Dremel, Planer, Trim Gun, Jigsaw. Stuff we use not as often. Some stuff just kind of sitting by itself. The framing nailer. We got a whole box of lighting stuff. This is paint, etc. It's mostly etc. in here. A little bit of paint. Caulk and adhesive. Just some etc. there as well. Here we got uh what Pat labeled as lotions, lube, and ointment. I told him to put sunscreen and bug spray, so that's what he came up with. Got another one here for hurricane clips. This is some pre-mixed fuel for a demo saw that we'll just put down there. Miscellaneous fasteners. Not much organization there, but you get what's you get the idea what's in there. We got some brown trim screws, which we use a lot. We got camo screws, which we use all the time. We're running kind of low on these uh, hanger nails. This, we pretty much leave out on the job site, so I'm just gonna leave that there for now. Pat printed out my favorite quote from The Wire. The king, stay the king. Don't forget that. This is for our drills and all of our batteries. So first thing in the morning, we usually take that out, set up all the battery chargers, because we're using those all the time. All these hand tools just kind of get bungeed up here. Um, they pretty much stay out on the job site as soon as we get there. We just like pile them up at the end of the day. A couple diesel cans, gas can, 
extra buckets, demo saw down there, miter saw here, extension cords. They're all the same color and they always get tangled up and it's really annoying. Should probably buy like one of each color, but I didn't. Masonry bucket. Ziggy, going crazy. That's pretty much it. MTV Cribs trailer edition. Pretty much wrapped up. We could be shameless, famous, running cool with a lovely